Put your hands to Jesus where you are standing. Say something wonderful to him. Give him praise. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him for tonight. Thank him, thank him. She da go Lord is some bella had to get up of her salinish. When I go sit, I go to the hala I dig it again. Shala la la sh. Pray that get down, see ballet, do go vili digi diga it. Pray that dam go shala la baraga da it a ka blood down so go la bella igni. She da bambo bella lega krodo shala branta galaga digi dish. Shabbat Shalom, pray the Holy Ghost, everyone. Zida gada brada de kadon si bale de ge de ge de ge de ge. Brada da ban sube laga brani de gogo lodo zile heidi. Pray da go si la lando vik bele ge bele mando go borodo shaladas. Kerandi balahas ki de ge dogo do shalile le ge de. Audience of your neighbor, pray the Holy Ghost. Lord, we are here again tonight. Logo de yaga bralege de zadi di gash alidis. You are trusting him for healing. Talk to him. Whatever the issue or situation might be, whatever the challenge might be. Talk to him about it. Frida galosi abaradi ge don sehala do do ita haidi. Lord, I pray tonight that you respond to the cry of your people. Let the heavens be opened over their hearts cry tonight. Let the heavens be opened over their desires tonight. Do what only you can do, wrought miracles. Wrought miracles, wrought miracles. Such miracles in the life of your people tonight. Such miracles, such miracles, such miracles. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. The Bible gives us a record of how a man came to Jesus and said to him, My daughter is dead. A man called Jairus. And being touched by his situation, Jesus decided to embark on a trip to that man's house. While on his way going, a human paradventure had a pre-information that Jesus was going to pass through that environment. The Bible said, and she said to herself, if only I can but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. The intention of Jesus was not to bring forth a miracle for her. She wasn't part of his mission. She wasn't part of his assignment at that particular time. But there are hunger and desperation. She pulled a miracle for herself. I give you a few moments again to speak to God. Such that even if you 
had no intention for you in the meeting tonight you can via your hunger pull a reality a miracle an answer a solution for yourself talk to him Talk to him, talk to him tonight. Talk to him, talk to him. Has come part two. My help has come part two. Pray in the Holy Ghost where you are sitting. Pray in the Holy Ghost. I just came tonight to speak for God's blessings upon us. So we'll just get through the word very briefly and then we'll begin to pray. We had the part one some few weeks ago and we began to establish God's truth that God elevates his people by sending them help part time. We began to understand that every man you see is an embodiment of possibility and a door leading somewhere. And that's why you must be careful how you treat people every great man on the surface of the earth was in one way or the other divinely and humanly assisted if we go through the writings of the new testament we found that, that jesus came one time to a man that was kept close to the pool of bethesda and as jesus approached that man he said he had been there for 48 years and he made something very astonishing in a statement. He said, I have no man. So sometimes, even with the steerings of the water, you need a man to get you in. Are we together? Even with the steerings of the water, you need a man to assist you. The Bible says, and Jacob, running away from his brother, saw his stone having been tired. And lay his head to rest and suddenly he saw the heaven open and he saw a ladder with angels ascending and descending so irrespective of the open heaven you still need a ladder on earth the bible said the ladder was set where on the earth that can connect you to that open heavens over your life there were many people in israel but only one had the ability, even with the kind of disadvantages around him, to get through the roof to Jesus. Why? Only him had friends. Only him had friends. 
So in life, if you want to go far, and if you want to go fast, you must pray for the release of help. Are we together? You must pray for the release of help. So we started by talking about 10 different kind of help you will need to have a successful journey on earth. Number one, we said the divine help. This talks about the help you receive from God, the help you receive from the angels, the help you receive from the Holy Ghost. There are things only God can solve. There are men with so much of money, yet going through pains of diseases and infirmities. You must get to that point of your life where you understand that there are certain kind of possibilities that can only be released by God. There is an extent influence can go. There is an extent money can go. Are we following? But there is no limitation to how far God can go. So you need to be divinely assisted. The Bible is speaking in Hebrews chapter 1, talking about the angels. He said, Are they not ministering spirit? Sends to the heirs of salvation. We've had certain experience of men that have been stranded and angelic beings appear to render them the needed help at that point in time. And also under that, you need the help of the Holy Ghost. Job 32 and verse 8. He said, There is a spirit in man. Is that man understanding is the inspiration the lightning and the sparkling of heaven on that spirit are we together number two we talked about prophetic help we said these are the help and empowerment you receive via pronouncement of blessings by custodians of the blessing so in scripture how that Isaac blessed Jacob without giving him anything physical. Yet he told that young man, I satisfy you with corn and with wine. What Jacob left his father with, how sweet, was just the shirt and the trousers he was on. But look at him, came back. Even Laban had to testify that the Lord has blessed me because a man that carries the blessing came around my atmosphere see no it's very early in life there are some kind of men that make God to begin to talk to you <laughs> by their atmosphere they can get God attracted to you are we together the Bible is speaking in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 28 it said and God blessed them by saying be fruitful and what multiply so the saints of God and that of his anointed are the careers of the blessing no not what they give to you the saints of God and that of his anointed are the careers that's the vehicle of the blessings number three we talked about global help we said this is the help you receive from all men cutting across every tribe every tongue every race your help is not just from your your village people or your township meeting when you need help at any point in time across the world that help is available for you number four daily help we saw in first chronicles 12 and verse 22 how the bible said about david that he enjoyed help on a daily basis to us if it is not daily sometimes it can be deadly number five and that's where we begin from tonight compared helpers compared matthew 27 and verse 32 mark 15 and verse 21 the bible said as jesus bore the cross on his way to Calvary, he got to a point. The pain was so much. And they saw a man called Joseph of Cyrene. And they compelled him to carry such burden. They compelled him. See, listen. <laughs> if there is one enjoy, is the compelled help. The Bible said, 
in first king chapter 18 and verse 3 god said to elijah you have pronounced that there should be no rain how do you survive he says so go hide yourself in the brook close to jordan the, the river of sidon that i have commanded a raven to bring you food by time and the water there will feed you now the bible said after a while the water dried up and the raven bend stopped coming and elijah was wondering how comes i obeyed an instruction and it gets to a point of my life it seems that instruction is no longer working listen one of god's instruction not most of times continuous his workings with his people are progressive he can decide to tell you to kill your son and in the next one hour he says stay your hand so that's why you must be careful not to pick the word and leave the god do we understand you know the problem with most of us are trying to discover purpose when we get the purpose then we leave the god and go with it so that when he tries to make some one or two adjustments along the line based on the current circumstances we can no longer hear his voice that's why most of the time you cry lord i want to see my purpose and it looks like he's not saying anything it's for your advantage i've had people who god told them he's calling them to ministry they left school and became useless in every other aspect of their life are we together so when god gives an instruction and you walking with that instruction see results and it gets to a point the result sees what it means is that you are supposed to open your ears for a new set of instruction and that's exactly what elijah did the bible says and god said to him go to zarephath i have commanded widow so not necessarily because the woman was having a giving spirit even though i suspect she should but she was under what compulsion she had no option there was a kind of atmosphere moving her to behave that way i have commanded a widow compelled help where people begin to help you even though they don't like you why something moves them in the inside every day i wake up i pray that prayer to god lord put men under compulsion to release all of my potion today put them under apostolic and prophetic pressure to release all you have destined for me today can we pray that prayer one minute rise up to your feet Zeka tombe la hati gade dotosh ilaga grode gabonde li gidi gidi shkala la ande akata ibale gobon selaman di gidi gida oh god say after me oh god i bring men under compulsion i bring men on to release all you have destined for me to release all oh you god have for me. oh god i bring men under compulsion i bring men under to compulsion. release all you have destined for me to bring all you have destined for me raise your voice and pray tonight in kapa de skapa rida ba de shala la da de ndi gapa isana la de gapa de la 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 that God asked to feed Elijah is the most stingiest bed on earth. But they're no born and where make you eat the food. Why? The Bible says, I have commanded a raven. I'm, I'm making you understand what it is for a man to be under compulsion to move for your advantage and favor. At that point in time, whether he likes you or not does not matter. Whether you look good to him or not does not matter. Something moves him in the inside to render that help at time. I remember a woman that helped a young man I knew. The young man was struggling, suffering after school, nothing, no job. Engaging in different retreats. One time he decided to go on a seven days dry fast. And at the end of the seven days dry fast, they called him for something in just. And a woman said to him, it has even closed. Pick his matter. When he arrived then, the woman said, I don't know you from Adam and I don't even know why I'm helping. It's a compulsion such a man has crystallized something in the spiritual realm that is acting upon a mortal man in the physical making him take steps beyond his will and con the bible says in philippians 2 13 it is him that walketh in us both to will and to do so it means by the workings of a spirit there can be willingness and doings from men by the workings of the spirit 
after all the bible says the heart of a king is in the hands of god and he can turn it to whatsoever direction he please sit down are we getting blessed tonight pray in the holy ghost one minute on christ the holy rock i stand all on the ground he is sinking sound all on the ground he is sinking sound on christ the holy Rock I stand all on the ground. He sings sun all on the ground. He sinking sun. One of our fathers shared a story with me one time. He said he was driving into a filling station in the city of Abuja, and as he filled his tank about to drive he was intercepted by a muslim man and the man said to him he says you know you i used to see on tv and called his name he said yes i am he said i, I don't know i don't like your fire but i just like you oh you used to have fire fire he said i don't like it but i just like you i used to see you appear in my dream very well he was just speechless and looking at the man he said let me dash you something now let me dash you something and picked his book and signed a check of 100 million by the time he gave our father the check i said oh thank you so much can i pray for you he said don't pray so i'll not see you again <laughs> hundred million help help us are we together i prophesy tonight upon your life may god move men for your sake see there is a difference between your helper deciding be under compulsion the bible is speaking in esther chapter 3 that that night the king could not sleep the king could not eat and he said to them bring me the book of remembrance a man i have not favored where it gets to a point that men can fast and go to vigils on your sake because god is saying a man needs to be assisted now compelled help us compelled unsolicited help us number eight or number six rather tireless help Luke chapter 8 verse 1 to 3 tireless help the bible begins to speak in this scripture about certain women that continually minister to jesus during his sojourn and ministry on earth tireless help us sometimes you feel you are overburdening them and they say don't worry i choose to do it not your uncle that will send you 2k and you call everybody in your bloodline in through school you know in every family they will have that kind of person all through five years he send you 2k number seven unsolicited help john chapter 5 verse 1 to 8 unsolicited help that means help you didn't beg for unsolicited help you need this kind of help in your sojourn on earth help you didn't beg for number eight timely help first king chapter 17 verse 12 timely help help on time it arrives when you need it just when it looks like the full stuff is finishing somebody shows up in your room with a bag of full stuff just when it looks like the money is emptying somebody just i i felt led to transfer that's one help i pray to enjoy every day of my life I will not be in a point of my life so much in a need to mortal man or bull. When I need it, it comes. That's why I say, when you enjoy this type of help, then you begin to speak the way we speak sometimes. That money, financial prosperity, is not tied to the amount of balance you have in your account. It is that when you have a need, the money comes for it. You get to a height. Look at your wealth by your account balance. But when you shout, oh God, I need help. The help comes at the nick of time. May God send you timely help. Number nine. One time help of endorsement 
and recommendation. A man stood before Pharaoh and said, I know of a man. It doesn't mean in the whole of Israel, Joseph was the only one that had the ability to interpret dreams. But that was the name that came to his mind. Help of endorsement and recommendation. Endorsement by men that will improve your credibility. Have you been just standing with certain caliber of men to take a screenshot? Can increase your credibility across the globe? You need those kind of help. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Pray in the Holy Ghost one minute. Thank you, Holy Ghost. On to Jesus I surrender On to Him I freely give I will ever love and trust in Him In His praise and Daily, oh, I surrender oh, I surrender oh, unto him my blessed I surrender Can we take it for the last time? Oh, I surrender oh, I surrender Oh, oh to him my blessed Savior I surrender so one time help of recommendation and endorsement John 1 29 and verse 36 John 1 29 and verse 36 the Bible said and John the Baptist said to the Lord, Behold, the lamp of God that taketh away the sins of the world. If he had not said that, because at that point in time, in his days and his, in his time, he was the most respected minister of the gospel. John was heavily feared and revered, such that he will look at the people and tell them, You generation of vipers, they say, baptize us. That's how much of credence he had. And so he had to help Jesus in his ministry to point him to the world and tell the world that indeed the hand of God is upon his life. Those are what we call help of endorsement and recommendation. Finally tonight, what's our scriptural responsibilities? What are we supposed to enjoy all this kind of help? Number one, kill pride and remain humble. Second Chronicles 26 and verse 16. Kill pride and remain humble. The Bible says, and Ura Uzziah became mighty great. He was strong because he was marvelously helped. However, when he became strong, he forgot the ways of his God. Are we together? Remain humble. Never forget where God took you from. Are we following? Never you forget where God took you from. If you want to enjoy help, number two become an helper yourself there is what we call in scriptures the law of reciprocity it means you will reap what you sow galatians 6 and verse 7 he said god is not mocked whatsoever a man soweth, that's what he shall reap god is not mocked so for you to enjoy help so help yourself It doesn't matter the kind of prophetic declaration I will say over your life tonight. Even if I lay my hands, my leg and everything on your life. If you don't render help, if you frustrate others, you can't see help. 
Stop acting like a witch. Render to all when they need one. Galatians 6 and verse 10. He said, Do good. Especially do good. What you are supposed to be doing on earth is good. Don't do wickedness to people. Because what you sow, you shall reap. Number three. Pray for the favor of God and the spirit of likability. Pray for the favor of God and the spirit of likability. The Bible speaking in Luke chapter 2 verse 52. He said that Christ Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and he found favor before God and men. If people like you, they will help you. If they like you, they will help you. If they don't like you, they will frustrate you. Pray for the release of... Can we pray one prayer tonight? Rise up to your feet. Oh God, say after me, oh God. Release your favor upon my life. Release your favor upon, upon my life. And the spirit of likability. And the spirit of likability. Oh God. Oh God. Release your favor upon my life. Release your favor upon my life. And the spirit of likability. And the spirit of likability. Raise your voice and pray. Amen. The Bible said in Psalm chapter 5, verse 12, give me that scripture. He said, I will compass my chosen one with favor as with a shield. Are we together? We'll pray that prayer and say, Lord, compass me with your favor as a shield. What will have been to my disadvantage? Let favor speak for me. Can you raise your voice and pray tonight? Amen. Sit down. So pray for the favor of God and the spirit of likability. If people like you, they will do business with you. If people like you, they will patronize you. If they like you, they will make excuses for your weakness. So you need the favor of God. Number four, learn to ask for help. <laughs> learn to ask for help. Don't assume God will do everything. Sometimes He expects you to open your mouth and say, Help. Have you not seen certain men in scriptures where He will see them and pretend He didn't see their situation? Till they will shout, Oh, son of David, have mercy on me. Yet He was still looking at them. And will have winful his past irrespective of their situation and circumstances if they didn't cry for help the bible speaking in matthew chapter 7 and verse 7 he said ask and you shall what receive seek and you shall find knock and it shall be open preceding that verse the bible had told us that your father know of the things you need even before you ask yet he still told you to what ask. it's a principle of scripture learn to ask for help die silently whatever situation you are going to learn to ask for help from trusted and tested people because some 
the help you are looking for might be as extremely close to you than you think do you know that water needed to be turned to wine what they didn't need to travel to different states to look for it it was there the bible says and the children of israel traveled through the wilderness and got to mara and they saw a water that was bitter and moses cried out to god oh god what do we do he said look at the tree close to you plug the leaf put it in the water and the water will be healed they didn't plant the leaf then the help you need might be close to you the problem we have in the body of christ is short-sightedness we try to interpret people by their appearance and by their looks <laughs> i remember one of our father in the faith he said to us one time he said in the early days when god began to blow upon the ministry across the nations a young man said to him young Igbo brother with just three quarter man of god please that's what i'm talking about and papa he said help me with your account number i want to send something he looked at the guy three quarter <laughs> and he smiled he said no problem so he told his peer send him church account number because he felt what can this one send at that point god has blessed me and the guy sent something little into the account number and kept disturbing him but no god please there's a personal leading i have god do this send me your account number so he got to a point he was so pestered by the guy and he sent the account number in less than 30 minutes the guy wired one billion three quarter one billion i told my children some few weeks ago i, I was i was it from abuja i was coming home somewhere i entered into a car and i saw a lady close to me and i saw wristband with her and she told me okay adjust and i laughed <laughs> i said if you know that the wristband himself is there I, said, Look, I was confused I said, ah, is this not you can imagine people wearing things that come from you and they don't even know you. <laughs> Learn to ask for help. You know, this is one of the biggest reasons why you see the average student exam more in life than the A student. A first class student is not trained to ask questions. It should ask you to solve something for it's an insult. They are trained that they are used to people asking them, help me solve this. Help me and solve this. So they don't grow in life to ask for help. But you see a young man, we come for interview with that same first class student, and he will tell the well, child, sir, can I help you with your bag? And the first class student will just be rolling his certificates. Distinction. <laughs> Learn to ask for help. Joseph told the butler, he said, when it is better for you, remember me. Remember me. Now, that's why I say you must not be short-sighted. Because sometimes, even you and your helper might be in the same condition. Remember the period to which he said that they were both in prison. But he had the ability to see beyond the now. Some of you, that your classmate you are fighting might be the person to interview you tomorrow. I've seen it happen in life. You will enter into that hall, that guy you insulted. You will see him sitting in front and say, you are, you are welcome, have a seat. That's why I came to arrange you so you'll be extremely balanced in life and not to fail. Because you can be an educated fool. You can even be wealthy and be a fool. Don't look at the scripture and call him a rich fool. So wealth is not the display of wisdom. He said, thou rich fool, your soul will be required today. He called him a rich fool. He had the money, but he was a fool. Lift up your hands, put it on your head and say, Lord, baptize me with wisdom. Say it again, baptize me with wisdom. So learn to ask for help. Don't sit down. And die silently. Don't. Number five. Master human management. Master human management. There is no impact. There is no influence without people. Your business exists for people. Everything you do for people. No matter how anointed I am, I can't speak to NTTS. Master human management. Learn tolerance with people don't have issues everywhere you are not the lion of the tribe of your host don't have issues learn human management learn tolerance with people understand that there is the god part of every man 
and there is the human part. Don't concentrate so much on your human parts that you forget to get what you need from them. Even though the anointing was poured upon David, it was still through Saul he got to the palace. Are you following? It was still through that same man. So ignore that and go for what you are worth. Because when you come to every man you think is perfect, you will definitely see a flaw. Just from a distance, we all look perfect. But when we come closely, we see people the way they are. Are we together? I said to one of my, my daughter one time, in a meeting, I ministered one time in the campus. And she saw the crazy move of God's spirit. And she ran to my office. Sir, I want you to be my father. I said, no problem. You are welcome. So one time I looked at her. And I asked the question. I said, what has changed? How come... The kind of way you behave those days is, I'm not seeing it again. You are not seeing the man for what it is. You have seen me where I don't wear suits. I put a night jeans trousers and a polo shirt and my pickup. You are not seeing me in the service where I sing or preach. <laughs> Master human management. Number six. Pray against false tongues and tell bearers. Pray against false tongues and tell bearers. Esther chapter 1 verse 16. You are good, good father. So you are. So you are. So you are. And I'm loved by you. That's who I am. That's who I am. Esther 1 16. The Bible says, preceding that verse is, the king had an occasion, the king Ahasuerus or the king Zerzes, whatever version you are using had a program and wanted his queen Vashti to come display for him and the queen refused and the king was bitter so the king said what shall we do to Vashti there was one man called Memukan what did I call his name Memukan he said chase her away she has not only you plus all of us there are men that the devil has positioned to speak about you in the presence of your helper you must pray against false tongues now you might think it's not necessary okay, whatever they say please care I didn't know the kind of sermon the devil preached one third of the angels left their creator to fight him what kind of sermon did he preach what did see Lucifer said to those men seeing their creator and say we want to fight you <laughs> even in heaven there were cabals the devil had his own cabals that he could convince you know that's what finishes us in the body of Christ especially Christians we do mumu 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 say I'm not very I'm not very good they should keep saying they should keep saying now you are struggling pray against false tongues until bear us number seven Learn to manage access. Learn to manage access when God brings you before those that will help you and assist you. Don't take an advantage of it. God just connected you to a great man. You have told him three things. Your school fees, your house rent, your brother is sick. You want to... What kind of woman who trained you? Are we following? And the man is going away now. And then you come back to the place of prayer and start again. Oh God, send me help. But you didn't manage the last one he brought listen every access to a man is a gift and a test i do that to people a lot to check see because sometimes it is better you are father you are close familiarity can become your downfall it is better you are far so you, you you know you see the man from far you see so much of grace upon his life you admire him, you are you know then you come so close access is given to you then suddenly you saw him eating food and one seed dropped so, Food used to fall from his mouth. Too. That's how it starts. Access to a great man. See, when you come before great people, because some of you, God brings an helper, come your way, send you help, and the man say, Come and see me. And the man kept you waiting hours, you get angry and go. <laughs> when God gives you access to great men, learn to respect their schedules, for that's what made them great so honor see most of the times i have gone to meet men a man called me and he had to see him in abuja 
And I thought he would tell me since to come. He called me a night to the day. Some of you in the office that day. See me in Abuja tomorrow morning. That's a man people watch on TV. Instantly, I went home. I was in the office, we were praying. I said, prayer has finished. Carry my things for me. I withdrew that night, planned my trip, woke up as early as five. He gave me an appointment for nine. I said, I need to be there before nine. It's an insult for a father to wait for me. That's why even when Jacob brought the, the venison, what was the question Isaac said? How come you got it so early? <laughs> so speed of response to a father is an honor. How come you got it so early? I told you when a father asks you to do something, I never give you a time frame. It's a setup. He wants to check you. And so I was there waiting and it delayed me up to past 11 a.m and came and we spoke for just 10 minutes some place sit down we need to talk very fast because i'm on my way to the airport <sighs> why <are> you coming <laughs> but i was patient enough to wait why i knew that it is those is scheduled him who is so if i want to draw from what he carries i must respect it you just want the man so if you're angry I, so I send you a message you don't pick my you don't you don't respond i call you don't call if i kept doing that you won't even see another on my life to follow. Respect their schedules. Respect it. Respect their daily routines. So that when you see, most of the time when I have those kind of access, I send them a message. I say, Sir, I am amazed that even knowing how great God has raised you to be and how busy your schedules can be, you found that such much of a time to give me attention. I don't take it for granted. That's the kind of message I sent. I heard a young man one time. He kept no no appointment, nothing. You know you don't book an appointment now. <laughs> and he sat in the office saying, need to see me. I said, give me two minutes. By the time I was done in two minutes, he was not there, there again. He said, he's, he needs to go. He'll come back. <laughs> Manage access. Some of you destroy help with your hand by your attitude and behavior when God released those help come your way you get angry unnecessarily why is the man like this why is the man like this is that your concentration or the help you are looking for don't let pride kill you don't let pride keep you at the point Bible said in Matthew chapter 5 that the meek shall inherit the earth people that know how to say yes sir yes sir people reward loyalty they reward loyalty can we end here tonight? Are we getting blessed tonight? Number eight. The eighth responsibility on your part to attract this help is that you give attention to quality and excellence. Give attention to quality and excellence both in your appearance, in your outlook, in your doings, and in your speech. Give attention to quality and excellence. Excellence pulls the attention of king. Hear my voice. The kings of the earth will never come to your level of mediocrity. You have to jack to their level of excellence. Hate mediocrity with passion. Be willing to go an extra mile in whatever you do. Be willing to give it an extra touch. It is the extra that separates the ordinary from the extraordinary. That extra that little details that just small touch little stress that's what distinguishes me some of you look so disgusting for even the man to help you dress well i heard a story of a young man who had the access to work in the house of a great man very very great man he was an electrician and while the man arrived his house he said what is smelling and he was tracing it and found out that it was the electrician. He said, please leave my house now. God can open doors for you and you close them with your behavior and attitude. Are we together? Do what you do with a top-notch sense of quality and excellence. The Bible says, add to your faith, first Peter 1. Add to your faith, virtue, virtue, excellence, quality. Give me Genesis 41 and verse 14. Are we blessed tonight? Genesis 41. 
and verse 14. The Bible says, and they sent for J Joseph after that he had been introduced by his friend that was one time in the same condition with him they sent for him to appear to who pharaoh watch what the bible say he had to shave his beards barb his head some of you are looking like a chief priest in your village it is that you don't have money you are not mad it's money that was the, no you are not mad there's a difference between poverty and madness so don't don't behave like a mad person as to show you are poor if you give a poor man that have a good mindset a rag he will wear it like a good apparel please he had to shave his beard look good because of the kind of man he wants to appear before see listen listen great men that i know move by mere sympathy you know some of you you now dress like someone that the, the devil has beaten so much so the man will pity you they just feel you come to use them dress nice some of you will just wear all these basket skirt and look like one village goddess in your village i'm just just no good works like that. and the man that god has pushed on that your empire is from a distance watching what kind of human being is this do we have this kind of irresponsible people in the society and that's your help are you not finished <laughs> at quality the bible is speaking in proverbs 20 to 29 it says show me a man skillful amplified diligent in what he does he will stand before kings and not ordinary kind of people show me a man skillful see the great only brings men that start looking like them to their height that's why in a company if you want to climb the cadre of the leaders faster dress like them talk like them behave like them they will easily bring you to their height this tonight first Samuel 16 and verse 12 talking about David how the king Saul was tormented by an evil spirit and the Bible said they said please let us get a man that can play so it shows there were many people that can play the keyboard very well in Israel but he, he had special qualities beyond that he was skillful in playing he was prudent in matters that means he knew when to stop playing because some of you when the spirit is not there you're just playing you're just gonna <laughs> and he was what good looking he was good looking please being dead is not a sign of spirituality that you went for retreat bath take a bath some of you you become just three days retreat you are locked in door you won't bait you just hold blood on have you been I'm not, I'm not coming from a retreat a retreat why the bible says when you fast anoint your head because you know there'll be a stupid set of people like that anoint yourself baits raw wrestling look good the kingdom my boss death the bible says about daniel he said and in him was found the spirit of what excellence lift up your hands where you are sitting and say lord baptize me with the spirit of excellence Say it again, baptize me with the spirit of excellence. For the last time, Lord, baptize me with the spirit of excellence. Number nine. Treat people nicely. <laughs> the Bible speaking in Hebrews. Is Hebrew of Peter now? He said, Oh no, amen. Because you don't determine the packaging in which your help will come. Are we following? You don't determine the packaging in which your help will come treat people nicely you know one time israel was in pain they were crying for solution and the prophet of god appeared and said by this time tomorrow a donkey head will be sold for one shekel i was thinking that god will use great armies of israel to bring that prophecy to fulfillment do you know who he used lepers you so that you can't trace it to anything lepers that's where the people god used to feed the whole israel lepers so be careful how you treat people be careful how you treat people that sister that is sitting now in the same car with you <laughs> you don't know where god will raise her tomorrow in life or where he has raised her be careful be careful tell your neighbor be careful be careful how you treat people. 
careful. You don't know who is who. You don't know who. In this life, you don't know who is who. You don't know who they are connected to. I just rashly. Why? Because you feel you can stay in the place of prayer 12 hours. Forgetting that God will use. Then whenever it is men, God will use. Finally, for tonight. Don't inherit enemies. What did I say again? Don't inherit enemies. The person your friend hates might be your neighbor. Because Africa is a very funny environment. Because I am angry with this brother and she's my friend, she will naturally be angry with him. To, you know, consolidation, collabo. So my friend will be encouraged. <laughs> That's how we behave in Africa. I don't like him. He's my friend. I don't like you. And they had no dealing so. I like what Abraham Lincoln said. He said, when I see people hate you so much, I'll try to get more close to you to really find out why they hate you. Rise up to your feet tonight. Can we pray three prayers and we are done tonight? Can we pray? She dug up her sog of Villa Hinder. Paledango Sia Bragadash. One of the prayers we will pray tonight is the baptism of tolerance. The baptism of what? Tolerance. Some of you don't have endurance. No, the thing trick you. See, the, the man is keeping me waiting. Then your village will just begin to press your door, baby, somewhere. Say, move out now. Move out. Move. You don't have tolerance. See, Human management is a gift, though. Listen, hold on. Do you know the Bible record? Solomon had how many wives? 1,000, right? Is it 1,000? No, 100. 1,700 wives and 300 concubines. Aha. Do you know the wisdom Solomon did? You know, when his father David was alive, he was being fought by all the kingdoms surrounding him. Solomon never won that kind of stress. So he decided to marry one wife each from all those kingdoms and provinces. Married 1,000. He had about, I think, 700 kingdoms and 300 provinces around Israel. So he picked one of their wives. You can't fight your, your, your son-in-law. <laughs> because your daughter too is there. Do you see wisdom? You know, this is the kind of wisdom if you have, you know, ban Twitter. Do you understand? No, I speak in parables. Because formerly your disgrace was local. Now it's global. Because you don't have tolerance. Tolerance, you don't have it. You just, anything, you rush decisions. You just take them and you suffocate your help. Suffocate your help. Lift up your hands and pray tonight. Lord, baptize me with tolerance. Baptize me with tolerance. Do you know if not for tolerance, Jesus will have suffocated his assignment? Look at what he said when they came to pick him. He said, do you know by the powers of the heavens that I carry, I can make someone upon 12 legions of angels and they will finish you now. But he didn't do that. The what? Tolerance. 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 Some of you, you cannot just look for what you are looking for. You, all, once you see any challenge, any discomfort, you are out. And then you start life again from the scratch. Lord, baptize me with tolerance. Raise your voice and pray. Shida goliga baleheko taida lagarash. Baptize me with tolerance, O God. Shete ke perra tuas kupabanya balagada. Rete ke perra tuas kupabanya balagada. Let's go. 
If he chased this the lily with beauty and splendor, how much more will it clothe him? How much more will it clothe him? If he watches over every sparrow, how much more? worship him begin to speak to him whatever you desire god in this healing service begin to talk to him about it oh lord is turning things around oh my good oh Watch what happens after this meeting. Go back to that situation and come back with a testimony. Go back to those challenges and come back with a testimony. Oh, Shubarele! Oh, Shubarele! Oh, that's how I song what was their testimony session it was their testimony session today I, I came late was their testimony sessions did you what God did I was not there kind of testimonies for tonight but I know they were great miracles everywhere that's why like you don't need to think it you don't need to imagine it it's not your job your job is to believe where you desire to see a change in your life, in your family, in your finances, in your health, in your career, in your academics, 
I command the change to occur. 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 May God give you a miracle. May God give you a miracle. May God give you a miracle. One testimony after another. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Longo Arare, Kayebo. Oh, Longo Arare, Kayebo. I pray and I declare and I declare. God will prove himself as God in your life. God will prove himself as God in your life. God will prove himself as God in your family. Wait. I just heard God say to me now. Now. There are mighty miracle angels in this meeting tonight. This is how you pray. Call those situations and say, I command a miracle change. Are we following? Begin to do that now. I just hear him say, tell the people to do this now. God, no matter how impossible it might seem. Say, I command a change. I command a change. I command a change that earth condition it doesn't matter how long it has been say I command a change in my body there are miracle angels ready to do what you say tonight those following me online across the nations of the world do the same look at that situation call it by name and prophesy a change there is an angel standing by you now Holy Ghost Holy Ghost! Oh Lord, hear the cry of your children. Oh Lord, as we call on your name. Oh Lord, as we call on your name, as we pray, as we pray, I'm seeing miracle jobs for your parents. Miracle job, pray in the Holy Ghost, take command a change, command a change. Here I stand before the God of all the earth To pray To pray Here I stand before the God of all the earth To pray To pray, oh yeah, I stand before God of all the earth. To pray, to pray, here I stand before the God of all the earth. To pray, to pray. Here I stand before the God of all the earth. To pray, to pray. Oh, 
tonight are you sure you can believe God tonight lift up your hands Lord I pray We declare your majesty. Oh Lord, we declare your majesty. We declare your majesty. We call you ascend the days, the lion of Judah. I am, but I am. We declare your majesty. We declare your majesty. We declare your majesty. Lord, I pray tonight. that Lord you will respond to the heart cries and the prayers of your people now for everyone that has called upon your holy name tonight may they not be put to shame give them a reason to testify give them a reason to testify I turn their prayers their desires into testimonies in the name of Jesus angels are released for your favor Angels are released for your good. Angels are released for your healing. Angels are released for deliverance. Angels are released for that miracle. In the name of Jesus. It's your glory. And your power. I see miracles. Your signs and wonders. If you believe, just wave and appreciate Him. It's, it's your glory and your power. I see miracles. Your signs and wonders. Let the atmosphere of heaven be the atmosphere right now let the atmosphere of heaven be the atmosphere right now father i speak for your blessings upon your people put your distinction upon their life put your anointing upon their life the same way that Samson set foxes on fire and caused a great havoc to the camp of the Philistines. I pray, my father, 
for every hands lifted up tonight and every life gathered here and those watching me and following me across the nations of the world set them on fire release your fire upon their life make them terror to the camp of the wicked in the name of jesus thank you thank you lord will bless you the lord bless and keep you the lord cause his face to shine upon you the lord be gracious to you the lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and grant you his peace how many of you want to testify next week friday i pray for you if your faith can carry it may god in heaven give you a miracle i say may god in heaven give you a miracle may god in heaven give you a miracle may god in heaven give you a miracle in the name of jesus anyone sick in your family i speak forth from the strength of this altar now wherever they are across the nations of the world put your faith on the line wait i declare i declare may the angels of miracle go touch them right now i decree within the next 72 hours may there be tangible changes and improvements in that situation i speak forth mercy i invoke the supreme sacrifice of the blood and i decree those people heal now i decree them heal now in the name of jesus i give you one minute call your name where you're standing and say i release your healing those looking for the fruit of the womb call your name and say i release your children those trusting god for a job call your name and say i give you the job call your name one minute that's what god said i should tell you healing rain is falling down 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 i'm not afraid let it rain i'm not afraid your healing rain is falling down healing rain is falling down i'm not afraid i'm not afraid Between now and Friday, watch it. I see a major financial miracle for families. A major financial miracle. You are trusting for your family finances. Finances. I see help coming. 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 Can you receive it? Help coming. Help coming. Help coming. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just wave your hands and worship him. The last service we had like this. We saw people's F's disappearing. I pray again. This is part two. May there be greater testimonies. You will go back to your CGPS and you see it has changed. You will go back and supernaturally those elves are disappeared. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Jesus. Hear what God is saying to me. From now to Friday. Everything you will need to do with money, people will be doing them for you. Mark my words. Everything you want to enter a car, they will pay for you. You want to buy something, they will pay for you. Anything you will be needing to do with money, I decree and I declare, compelled helpers. Compelled helpers. Compelled helpers. Compelled helpers. That's your fool. That you say is stingy. 
am the one praying now. Watch what happens within the next seven days. I decree compulsion. They will remember you and favor you. They will remember your family and favor your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I speak for your blessings upon your people. Put your distinction upon their life. Put your anointing upon their life. The same way that Samson set foxes on fire and caused a great havoc to the camp of the Philistines. I pray, my Father, for every hand lifted up tonight and every life gathered here. And those watching me and following me across the nations of the world, set them on fire. Release your fire upon their life. Make them terror to the camp of the wicked. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Lord will bless you. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you. And grant you his peace. How many of you want to testify next week, Friday? I pray for you. If your faith can carry it, may God in heaven give you a miracle. I say, may God in heaven give you a miracle. May God in heaven give you a miracle. May God in heaven give you a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Anyone sick in your family? I speak forth from the strength of this altar. Now wherever they are across the nations of the world, put your faith on the line. Wait. I declare, I declare, may the angels of miracle go touch them right now. I decree within the next 72 hours, may there be tangible changes and improvements in that situation. I speak for mercy. I invoke the supreme sacrifice of the blood and I decree those people heal now. I decree them heal now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hear what God is saying to me. From now to Friday, everything you will need to do with money, people will be doing them for you. Mark my words. Everything. You want to enter a car, they will pay for you. You want to buy something, they will pay for you. Anything you will be needing to do with money, I decree and I declare, compared help us. Compared help us. Compared help us. Compared help us. That's your rule. That you say is stingy. I am the one praying now. Watch what happens within the next seven days. I decree compulsion. They will remember you and favor you. They will remember your family and favor your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You want to say, Pastor, please help me. I want to be born again. All right? Or I want to dedicate my life. My work with God is no longer strong. It's nothing to write home about. I want the Holy Ghost to come mind upon my life and help me to live the Christian race. Please, wherever you are, you are in any of this category. Let me see your hands up. Very quickly, let me see your hands up. It's a wonderful decision you want to take tonight. I want to strengthen my work with God. I want to know Jesus better. I want the Holy Ghost to come fresh upon me tonight. Wherever you are, let me see your hand. If you are waving, if your hands are up, let me see it well. Let me see your hands. Please wave it up. Let me see your hands up. Thank you, our Father. If you are doing so, please come to the front. If you are waving your hands, please come to the front. If you are in any of these categories, please come very quickly. Let me pray with you. Lift up your hands. Lord, I release a blessing upon your people. Let your blessing sit upon them. Let your hands be strong upon them. I decree you blessed. Enjoy uncommon favor. God's grace shines upon you. Thank you for listening.